Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to Jade Tech. And in this session, we are going to discuss about a couple of interview questions that are very, very important for us to attend the interviews as well as for the project, per project perspective as well. And this is my part one of this interview question and answers. And let's start with it. Now, what are the steps for migration project? Migration from SAP ECC 6.0 to SAP S4 HANA 1909 is what I'm assuming. So in this case, we have to first do the identification of source data, source data dictionary, where from the data is coming, identification of target data requirement, where the target data dictionary uh, been uh, in place, finalizing the technique of data loading, mapping of source to target mapping document with gaps resolution of data gaps by applying by applying business rules preparation of test plan and data to be used for unit testing finalizing validation and reconciliation strategy before uploading the data the data count some of some specific fields should be checked against some control file reconciliation and after uploading the data the data loaded into sap tables should be validated against the source file now dev development we have data conversion program developing the validation and reconciliation report integration testing check for the completeness of the entire data flow volume testing to check the performance and transport into the production so these are the most important steps in a migration project and we can discuss about each of this in, in a detailed uh, session later point of time. But these are the things you have to know before attending for the interview anywhere, whether you are a fresher, whether you are an experienced guy, uh, uh, all the all the interview questions which I'm uh, consolidated here are important for every one of us throughout the world. Now, what is SAP S4 HANA? SAP S4 HANA is the next generation business suit. It is a new product fully built on most advanced in-memory platform today. SAP HANA and modern design principles with SAP Fiori user experience. Now why SAP S4 HANA? SAP S4 HANA delivers massive simplifications, customer adoption, data model, user experience, decision making, business processes and models and innovations like Internet of Things, Big Data, Business Networks, and Mobile First to help businesses run simple in the digital economy. Now, what are the advantages of SAP S4 HANA? Smaller total data footprint, higher throughput, faster analytics and reporting, less process steps, and ERP, CRM, SRM, SCM, PLM, all co-deployed. They're all together deployed in the SAP S4 HANA platform. No locking, we have parallelism. Actual data, 25% and historical data, 75% is still there in the system. Unlimited workload capacity. Predict, recommend and simulate the data. SAP HANA multi-tenancy cap capabilities. All data, social, text, geo, graphical, processing, entire thing can be consolidated to SAP S4 HANA. New SAP Fiori UX for any device like mobiles, desktops, tablets, etc. Choice of deployment. You have a choice of going for on-premise deployment or cloud deployment or hybrid in which you can either go for a part on on-premise and a part on cloud as well. Now, can I use LSMW in SAP, SAP S4 HANA? This is very much, very frequently used uh, uh, asked question. So the legacy system migration workbench, LSMW, should only be considered as a migration tool for SAP S4 HANA for objects that do not have interfaces or content available after carefully testing for each and every object. The use of LSMW for data load to SAP S4 HANA is not recommended. And, at, at, and it's on the own customer's own risk. What are the data migration tools available then? 
if we are not going for less in blue what are the other features that we have uh, to migrate the data into sap s4 hana sap s4 hana we have a couple of uh, uh, data migration tools they are sap s4 hana migration cockpit with migration object modeler called mom mom and sap data services sap ds and sap rdm that's rapid data migration content so these are the tools for data migration in sap s4 hana what is sap ds sap ds stands for sap data services provides capabilities for data extraction transformation and load as well as data quality management and text data processing the etl capabilities of the tool can be used free of charge but the data quality features require a data services license and what is sap rdm the rapid deployment data migration based on sap data services software is offered to migrate data into sap s4 hana on premise this content has been specifically built for the new sap s4 hana target system its interfaces and data structures the content is free of charge and can be downloaded from sap service marketplace sap s4 hana migration cockpit this is the most important migration tool that we have which is the latest one and uh, we are uh, suggested by sap that we we should be using migration cockpit more than anything else to migrate the data from uh, non sap or sap systems to our sap s4 hana system s4 hana migration cockpit is an automated migration tool provided with pre configured content and mapping for each migration object for all major functional areas like product customer bank profit center cost center plant gl migration uh, migration objects are predefined and their sequence and dependency is also defined each migration object contains its own predefined template in which source data is uploaded automatic mapping is done in the source and target structures using the template migration programs are automatically generated for validating data simulating data and loading it into the target system now how can i access migration cockpit migration cockpit is a browser based interface no additional setups or activation is required once we set up the sap s4 hana system if at all if you are using the uh, migration cockpit on on premise system we can use the transaction code ltmc it will open mc uh, the mig migration cockpit on a new web browser if at all if you are using a cloud system you can choose an option manage your solutions on the launch pad you can see an option there as manage your solutions click on it and you will be able to see the migration cockpit now why should i use migration cockpit the key features of migration cockpit so you can also be asked a question like uh, what are the key features of migration cockpit or what are the advantages of migration cockpit this tool is embedded and delivered with sap s4 hana system built in no programming is required put by the customer this tool is used to migrate data from sap or non sap systems to s4 hana this tool has a predefined migration object which contains a mapping for all master and transactional data it reduces migration cost and time migration activities are predefined and easy to use now what are the steps to migrate data using the migration cockpit now if at all if you have it a file let's consider that there is a file xml file from the source system we get it into the template now the template contains the list and details of all mandatory optional fields for migration object then we have that data will be moved and we upload the data from template to the staging table and this staging table will have the data uploaded and it can be viewed and edited here at the staging table level then we activate and transfer uploaded data to the target system i mean the edited data we, we will validate it and then we will load the data into the target system so before ta before loading the data into the target system we validate the data we do the data mapping we simulate the data and we we'll, then we load the data and that data will go and sit in the hana database so these are the steps so template staging table and the validations 
what is active methodology sap active activate is a, is an implementation methodology used in sap s4 hana projects and uni it's a unique combination of three core pillars sap guided configuration we should know what exactly is sap guided configuration sap best practices and methodology it is a successor of the accelerate sap or asap methodology accelerated sap and sap launch methodology it also provides complete content and guidance to each team for our project now what are the phases in activate methodology discover prepare explore realize deploy run first one is discover second prepare third explore fourth realize fifth deploy sixth run now what are the advantages of hana database oh. we all know the advantages of hana database but you should be able to tell it in a very point wise crystal clear definition kind of a thing in the interview so that's the reason i've framed this one as well so advantages of data, hana database are in memory database columnar storage versus row storage oltp versus olap capabilities that's online transactional processing and online analytical processing capabilities in single system no aggregation required and saves time now what is in memory database in sap so an in memory database means all the data from source system is stored in a ram memory so sap hana in memory database consumes no time in loading the data from hard disk to ram so it provides faster access of data to multi core cpus for information processing and analysis so in short you can explain in your own terms that we have a data stored in the database and as well as the entire data that we have in the database is also stored temporarily in the ram as well so when you are fetching the data you are actually fetching it from the ram and the ram need not go to the database and get the data that's what you need to explain in the interview so what is sap rds sap rds stands for systems applications and products is the sap full form and rapid deployment solutions are pre configured applications that allow companies to deploy software in weeks or months for a set price the applications are designed to address one area of functionality of sap's larger enterprise applications and addresses a specific function or need now on which version did you work which which sap version so you have lot of on premise releases that you should be aware of sap s4 hana finance was released in 1503 it has it had lot of features specifically related to finance the rest of all the modules were working normally as we as, as it used to work in the previous ecc versions the sap s4 hana 1511 number 2015 Uh, S4 HANA Finance 1605 May 2016 S4 HANA 1610 October 2016 S4 HANA 1709 September 2017 and S4 HANA 1809 September 2018 and S4 HANA 1909 September 2019 we have a simple way of understanding this if you see the version name the first two digits are uh, the year in which it was been launched and the next two digits is the month in which it was been launched So if 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 we see one nine zero nine nineteen is the year and two thousand two thousand nineteen is the year and zero nine is the month in which it is it was being launched, and what are the release details? So the release details are like you might have a question like you know when Hana one point zero was released or when Hana two point zero was released. So there are many questions that can come up in this uh, diagram which you see in front of you. So research on in memory database uh, technology begins in the two thousand six six uh, year. and in 2010 sap releases ramp up version of sap hana to select to selected customers it was kind of a beta version and sap officially launched sap hana 1.0 in 2011 then sap hana cloud platform uh, now it is known as the sap cloud platform released uh, in the 2012 then we have sap uh, then moved to sap business suite on sap hana uh, in at 2013 then sap s4 hana released in 2015 and sap hana express edition was released in 2016 and sap hana 2.0 was released in 2017 these are very important dates now what is sap fiori sap fiori is a new user experience for sap software 
and applications it's a user experience what you see on the screen is called user experience it provides a set of applications that are used in regular business functions like work approvals financial applications calculation applications and various self-service applications sap has developed fury applications or fury apps used based on the user interface ui5 now what is open ui5 open ui5 is a javascript application framework designed to build cross-platform responsive enterprise ready applications it is an open source object maintained by sap c available under the apac 2.0 license and open to contributions open ui5's core is based on javascript jquery and LESS. What is SAP UI5 then? UI5 is not but uh, is nothing but a development tool kit for HTML5. It contains lot of predefined JavaScript library to design new user interface. UI5 is mainly developed for SAP mobility, which means Fiori. UI5 is a framework based on MVC pattern. By using this framework, developer can easily build web applications. What is SAP SDK? SAP Cloud Platform SDK for Android provides development tools for creative native Android mobile applications that use SAP Cloud Platform mobile services. The SDK is based on Java programming language and is built on top of Google's Android SDK. Now, how much time will it take for an SAP S4 HANA project to be implemented? Now, there are two ways of implementing SAP S4 HANA. One is to migrate from the SAP ECC version to SAP S4 HANA version. That, that, that is considered as a conversion project. So in typical S4 HANA system conversion project will take minimum of 4 months and maximum of 12 months on an average 8 months. And if it's a full implementation, new implementation can be done either from even there are customers who actually uh, preferred going for new implementation rather than going for uh, conversion from ECC to 6.0 to latest version and in fact like SAP S4 HANA new implementation is for all anybody who is want who wants to come for the first time into SAP also can implement this and it will take minimum six months and maximum 14 months and the average is 11 months of time will it, it will take to complete the SAP S4 HANA project and deploy it to the client. Thanks for watching and um, I'll soon come back with uh, uh, part 2 and uh, other, other versions of it and uh, I'll be covering a few more questions and if you feel this is useful you do share it with your friends and uh, help them as well and if at all if you are if you are looking out for new content and do subscribe to our channel youtube.com slash tech and you will get updated with all the latest uh, things in sap if at all if you are looking out for any kind of trainings you can contact us at training at redgsoftech.com and if you are looking out for jobs you can contact us jobs at redgsoftech.com these are all email ids thank you have a great day and do write in the comments your suggestions and uh, um, feedbacks and uh, I'd be definitely doing something about it. Thank you.